Hi, this is Tali and welcome to BuildRoo.com. I'm here at the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California, and I'm here talking with Ed from Advanced Energy, and he's going to be talking to us about their utility scale inverter called the Solaron. So, how are you, Ed? We're having a great show. It's good to meet you. Really happy to tell your audience about what we're up to. I mean, uh, AE's been in the marketplace for a few years now, uh, getting a lot of notoriety and uh, viral feedback from our customers, and having a great show, so happy to tell you about what we're up to. Wonderful, okay great, so can you talk to us about this product right here that's behind me? Yeah, this product in particular is a 500 kilowatt uh, central inverter, typically used in uh, utility scale ground mount solar applications. Uh, in some cases for very large commercial roof rooftops this product would be applicable. Uh, we have versions of this product that are oriented around North America. Uh, and also we export uh, to Asia or to Europe slight derivatives of this product. Uh, very high power and I'd love to tell you more about the product but basically that's what you see here. Wonderful. So um, how is this product distinct from other utility uh, scale inverters on the market? Our efficiency is about a percentage point higher than the average in the marketplace. Um, one of the other things that's really unique about AE Solaron is the packaging. This is a liquid cooled inverter. Uh, so that makes the product very high density. Uh, the liquid cooling actually is really significant for the reliability of the product. And we should talk a little bit about reliability. It's very crucial for these large plants. A lot of new technology uh, in, in the solar industry today. Um, but the demands on these products are for 20 plus year life. So having high reliability, meaning no downtime in the product, no component failures, and also having a very long life is crucial. So with our customers, they are evaluating our technology and seeing how we can create a big advantage for them uh, in producing energy for long haul. So how scalable are your inverters? So they're very scalable. Uh, today, the industry is talking about huge plants. Your audience is going to be seeing on the news you know, huge, huge utility scale plants that may be a square mile, hundreds of acres of potentially desert land uh, of solar panels. So a, a plant like that may need a hundred or a couple hundred of these kind of inverters. So it's very, very scalable and the, the, what is really going to drive scalability is as the efficiency of these plants and the, the cost of energy comes down, uh, more and more plants will be uh, economical and less dependent on subsidies. So scalability is very key. AE is a global uh, public company. Uh, we actually opened up a new factory to ensure we have the capacity to produce high volume. Uh, high volumes are going to be required in North America. Great. So what is the cost uh, over the life of this product? Well, the cost of the product is, is maybe in a couple of different elements. So for these products, you have an upfront capital investment, so capital piece of equipment. Um, but also to make sure that they have the long life and the high reliability, maintenance, preventive maintenance is very important. So while you have an upfront capital investment, there's also typically an annual maintenance program that goes on with these products to uh, ensure that they have a 20 plus year life. Um, so cost can be in terms of just the upfront cost or the expense over time. And one of the other unique things about our product is the long life that it has. So it's designed to last over 20 years. What is typical in the industry today and the incumbents that we compete against have to do is pretty much replace their inverter roughly 7 to 11 years uh, into their life cycle. So we've designed the product to last 20 plus years. One way to do that is through maintenance. Another way to do that is through having the design set up for serviceability and actually swapping out certain components that may have a shorter life but instead of having to replace the inverter, just replace those components to extend the life of the product. Okay, so what customer segments would be interested in this product and what's your uh, distribution channel? Well, for let's just take North America because your audience is focused on North America and it's actually really fascinating what's happening in the industry. So the kinds of companies that would be interested in a power plant, you can imagine, well, of course it should be PG&E or SoCal Edison, a large utility maybe the type of company that we would work with to create a, to work with them on a plant where this product would be used. But actually oftentimes there's third party integrators, maybe construction firms uh, or EPCs in the industry that are in the ecosystem that we work with to optimize the plants and then they build the plant so that's one channel. Uh, another channel could be through a financier who's again a project developer but not so much a construction company or a utility 
but more of a, a financier that will create a plant and then sell the power over time. Maybe the last segment would be maybe in the commercial segment where an asset owner of a very large building, a uh, large retail site for example, wants to put a ray on their roof. In some cases we're actually working directly with them and then they procure the product and we help them put the plant together and then they buy directly from us. So who actually does the maintenance on the product? Oh, great question. So historically inverters have been notoriously unreliable and a burden to the incumbents in the industry. So. AE, on the other hand, has had a service company for 15 years, and so we've built in the service model as an integral part of how we go to market. So AE does the servicing of our product. Uh, in fact, in some cases, we do servicing of our competitors' products, and we've, we've recently rolled out services that include preventive maintenance and service programs for our product, competitors' products, and all the equipment in an array. So it's something new that we've rolled out at the show this week, a program called SiteGuard, where we're actually having multi-megawatt, 20-year contracts to fully maintain the whole PV array. So the way we're able to do that is that the inverter is a critical piece of equipment, a very active component in the array, in, this, in these projects. So some would call it the brains of the site. So we're ideally positioned to work with the most intelligent piece of equipment and then all the peripheral equipment uh, over the life of the projects for these asset owners. Great. So you were mentioning to me before, actually, that um, this product is actually geared specifically for the European market. Um, so what are the differences of, uh, you know, between the U.S. Uh, and the European market as far as, you know, marketing and expectations? Well, there's some differences. The product itself is actually uh, very similar. There's very minor changes that align the product to the grid in the different countries. Um, one of the things that's unique about Solaron is that this product is outdoor ready, meaning there's no secondary enclosure required for this product. And we designed it that way to save cost. And in Europe, it's very common that these kind of products be put into a large concrete bunker, 30 ton bunker. <laughs> uh, and so it's a bit redundant for our product that's fully outdoor ready, ready to last 20 years outside, to need this extra enclosure. So. Great. So one last question. So how does your uh, company contribute to the green movement? So another great question. So, you know, fundamentally, uh, our whole business model is built around what's called LCOE. And in the industry, this term is kind of becoming a recognized reference for the levelized cost of energy or the cost of creating a kilowatt hour over time. So everything we do, whether it's a product that's very efficient, meaning we don't waste the energy that's produced by the solar panels, or a product has a very long life, so we're not have to replace the product as frequently. Um, we're cutting the cost of energy, and so bottom line is what AE is doing is we're the leader in driving uh, acceleration to grid parity, cutting the cost of energy so you know your audience in North America, for example, needs to see that the government doesn't have to have subsidies for solar projects. And, we're taking the industry a big step forward by driving the cost of energy down over time. So that's our role. Okay, wonderful. Well, I thank you so much for talking hey, to us. It's great to meet you. Thank you. This is Tali from Buildroo.com reporting to you from the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California. Thank you for watching.